Hi friends, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul. And I have some coca, some coffee and it is ch chocolate German cake. Words girl, words, chocolate German cake. Mmm, so good. I'm still working my way through my coffee advent calendar, which I haven't shown you guys lately, but trying to mix things up a little. All right, Dollar Tree haul, and I got a fair amount of stuff, so let's get going. Um, if you remember the other day, I showed you the little tiny stockings. They sure do have the full grown size ones. These are adorable. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but if you're a counted cross stitcher, you could cross stitch. This is open weave linen down here as well. I don't know, I just liked the fabric and the design. So I'm not sure what I will do with these, but I thought they were fun and I wanted to get them to show you. Now, I know we're not even at Christmas yet, but the Dollar Tree brought out, and I can't remember if they had these last year, Valentine's Day Christmas trees. I'm gonna need to find the heart ornaments to those. So I may have to go online and see if they have them. But I just wanted to show you what color. Um, yeah, super cute. I'm hoping to find the ornaments, the little hearts. Um, so I could put this out for Valentine's Day. So I grabbed just one. The woman at my store said they only got two cases in and one case was already gone. Um, we got some fun little blind bags to open because they're fun. This is Wishkin's Jungle Fantasy. I don't know what they are, but we're gonna open one and see. Let's see what we got. We got Gulp, the hippo. So, oh, he's so cute. And then he has some, oh, he has a hat. Wait. His hat goes on. He has a hole in his head. These are adorable. They smell like rubber. I was smelling something. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, he has a hat. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. And he has a ring to sit in. I'm not sure how this is supposed to go, but he has accessories. So we got the little pink hippopotamus. Because I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. It doesn't... doesn't say. Oh, wait. He also has some sunglasses. But I don't know where they're supposed to go. Must be a swimming hippo. How cute is that? So we have Gulp the Hippo. These will be fun to sit on my desk. Is this another Gulp? Nope. This is... Oh, where'd he go? Nacho. And he is a little cat. Oh, he must come with this to sit on, I'm assuming. Like, if he's in the circus. I don't know. He has... Oh, he is an Olympian. He came with clothing and a medal. How cute are these guys? So we got those, two packs. I think they're gonna be fun like stocking stuffers too. Okay, I picked up these. They're for my air fryer. Now they were on a hang tag that said they were $3.48 a piece. We're gonna open them up. I usually cut. Okay, so these are for the circular air fryer and they're supposed to help things not stick. So this is parchment paper. I think it should fit in my air fryer just fine. Typically what I've been doing is cutting parchment paper to fit because it's just so much easier for cleanup. And you get 50 sheets of this. 
So that's exciting because, you know, clean up. And I did get two of these. There we go. To line my air fryer. I mean, I love it when I get like stuff I can actually use, right? I grabbed some toothpaste. I usually use toothpaste from my dentist, but I'm out and I just need toothpaste. So I bought some. Um, and this is 3D White Stain Eraser, Coffee Stain Eraser. So I grabbed that. Ooh, I found this. Kinder Brand, which is, I get their spices at Costco. This is definitely more than $1.25, but it's zero sugar teriyaki sauce. And I'm gonna try it. So I grabbed one. I cannot find like a Best Buy date on here to tell me when I have to use this by, cause I did look, but I don't, I don't see one. Just says zero sugar. I don't know. Typically it's like printed on the container, right? Or something. But I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Found it. This is Best Buy September of next year. So I got plenty of time to use that. So I'm going to make some teriyaki pork of some sort. Um, for Christmas Day, I grabbed the pack of napkins just to put on the table for everybody. We all do that. And look at this fun shaped gift box. I think this is, if I had to guess, I would say a five inch by five inch or a six by six square and you get five boxes in here for a dollar 25 and I think that is a fantastic size for smaller gifts like stocking stuffers and stuff um they had the spice trader three pack of taco seasoning mix we're gonna try that I don't always get food there I'm not opposed to it it's just hard for me to find stuff but this is pretty good so I grabbed it Let's see what they look like on the inside. Oh, and this is good until February of 24. And they're just like generic. There's no labeling. But that's fine. I'll keep them all together. Taco seasoning. Because who doesn't need taco seasoning? Um, let's take everything out of here. And then I can put the stuff that goes downstairs. How about that? Back in it. Like taco seasoning is going back downstairs. Um, I got a different one of the crackers from the um, the fine cheese company, Bath England, all butter spelt. And I think I showed you before what the packaging. I mean, I think the packaging is just fantastic. And I did get a comment from somebody who tried them and said they were good. I mean, you just take them out and put them out with your tray. But you don't even have to like display them. Now, they do have a fair amount of carbs for six crackers, but that's fine. It's for my charcuterie board for Christmas dinner. Oh, these are going downstairs. Look at it. I'm getting organized, guys. And then I found this, which is Modern Pantry um, Lactose-Free Coffee Creamer and Hazelnut. Um, this is not something I typically would drink because there's a lot of sugar in here. But Sarah is coming for Christmas and she is vegetarian and has a little bit of a lactose issue, if you will. So I grabbed one of these to keep in my fridge for her and it's hazelnut. I think she's bringing her own, but that's okay. She'll take it home if not. And then for the kitchen, I grabbed, I love these and I seem to lose them because I leave them all over my house, but I use them for like literally everything. These are the most fantastic kitchen storage container clips chip clip. I close up my coffee with these. I use it to close up my pork rinds. Um, yeah, they're great. So I grabbed another pack just because I was having to dig around to find um, my clips because I take them apparently away from the kitchen. I, I don't know what I do with them. I'm also clipping up my socks here. So I bought a pack of socks. I try to not buy too many socks. You guys know I have a sock thing. But these were adorable and it needed to happen. Here we go. I'm trying not to. So what happens, they do this quite often and it ruins the sock is these little plastic thingies get tangled. But these are bicycle socks 
and I needed them. And they're stripey and in the stripes, there it's glitter. So I'm planning on wearing these Christmas day or Christmas Eve, I'm not sure which. Oh my gosh. Christmas Eve day, I'm going to lunch with my brother. We're gonna go out and grab a bite to eat. And Christmas day, I'm just staying home. He would rather have Christmas day out than come over here. There'll be enough people here. Uh, let's see what else I found. Oh, yes. I found one of these. I didn't find it. They've had them, but I thought this would be a fun um, background for a cross stitch. I could stain it. Probably will stain it and seal it and put a cross stitch on it. And then I can put a hanger or just lean it. I'm trying to get the tag off. Um, hang it or lean it. Either way will be fine, but I like the rustic feel of the wood. And I have some ornaments that I'm going to be doing like smaller pieces. So I've had those before and I've used them. So I grabbed just another. I'm just stocking up. Um, we need to talk about this. This, my friends, if you see these bags hanging, this is L'Oreal Infallible. These are $12 lip balm glosses with stain lipstick lippies so we all know i've talked about going cruelty free with my products l'oreal is a hard one for me l'oreal the company is cruelty free they do not test however they sell their products in china and china requires animal testing so are they really cruelty free because their products are being tested on animals. So that's kind of where I have, you have to figure out where, what line are you drawing in the sand, if you will. Because technically they're cruelty free. They say they're cruelty free, but in reality, they choose to sell in a, comp in a country that requires testing. So are they? That's kind of what I have to come to terms with and make my own decision as you all do. You know, the color on here is 380. Might be a little dark for me, but we're going to try. How about that? I should probably get a mirror out, but I'll use you. It's a little dark. So what we're gonna do, ooh, I just rubbed it all over my hand. We're gonna say, okay, it's a little dark. I need a napkin. Please hold, I'm gonna blot and get a napkin. Okay, I'm back. I don't hate it. Now, um, infallible, it, it sticks, it's like, it's not gonna rub off. It's not gonna get on my cup if I drink coffee. It is a little dark, but I'm not mad. So yeah, and we'll we'll figure out the cruelty free another day. Okay, now this is some of the new stuff that they just came out with at my store. Um, I don't know if it's new. Well, this is just drink mixes. This is Island Punch Purple Berry Wave. And I like getting the the Ryler, Wylers because you get 10 per box instead of six. So I grabbed a couple of these. I drink these all the time, so I'm always refreshing. Now, this is something fun. It's a DIY letter board. So what you do, you have letters back here and you can slide and make a saying. So they have, welcome to our home like the punch letters but this one they slide in I did grab two so I thought maybe Sarah would like one for her classroom or we might need extra letters and for $1.25 I'm okay with that you could also paint this up fun you could do a sign and give it to somebody or just put it on like I have back here oh and I took it down I had a pegboard back there that had my crazy life this may say my crazy life and hang behind me that might be a good plan for this. But I grabbed Sarah one too in case she needed it for her classroom. Ugh, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. 
All right, I think this is the last bag, right? Yes, okay. So I picked up for the boys, they love these. It's a little, um, it's a kid's toy, but these balls, here I'll show you, because this is for the cats. Oh, and Luna, she likes to chase them too. But you pop this ball into the mouth and then you squeeze the body or you squeeze the head. And if you have your ball in there tight enough, it pops the ball out. Um, this one's not working. That's weird. Well, let's see. I squeezed his head a little bit too much in his little body. So you put this in. It's not gonna go. Well, that stinks. There you go. So, I have two cats looking at me. You gotta put it in here pretty firm and then you squeeze his head. And the ball pops out and goes across the room and the boys chase it. And then they come back and we do this again and again and again. And they love it, it's fun. They're not too small for the boys. Um, if you have, Luna won't choke on these, but there are other dogs. Um, just wanna be careful with the other, the other dog situation. Um, oh, is this everything? I'm double checking. Sorry about that. They had some other fun things. I don't know what, I, I mean, I know what this is. I don't know how it's gonna work. So what we're gonna do, this little pink tool from the Dollar Tree, I use it all the time. I know uh, it's what it's for, I think, crafty, but I use it for everything. Okay, it's a this is a photo cube. We're going we're going retro here, friends. But I want to open the plastic. I just think this is super fun. And let's see how do we open it? It doesn't like most things Dollar Tree, we don't get really good direction on anything. Uh-huh. So it looks like you to slide it open somehow, maybe sideways. I don't know. Ah, okay. So two sides open and two sides come out like that. So you kind of squeeze it and then this middle piece comes up. I would leave this in here and then tape your pictures to this cube. So it it's two U's that go together like that in order to clip it. But I wanna put my box back in because I don't wanna lose that. There you go. And you can just squeeze it from the top. Oh, this is adorable, I should have got more than one of those. So they had those. Um, I found in the bathroom section, this acrylic tool holder. I did ask Santa for some new makeup brushes for Christmas, so I think that that's what this will be for is my makeup brushes and like tweezers and stuff for my bathroom. But I love the clear. I love when things come in clear or white because they're just so clean and they seem to take up less space even though we know they don't really, but visually they do because they're clear. And yeah, I like that idea a lot. Also, well, I'll take this off in a minute, but this was just the regular Dollar Tree bathroom stuff. Um, there we go. There. So I just get the little goo gone on that, but I think my makeup brushes and things will fit in here. My tools. Also in your craft room, paint brushes, all that. Don't sleep on bathroom items for your craft storage because I think that is a fantastic way to go for storing stuff. Um, in the party section, I found some more of these. These are birthday foil boxes, and this is what they look like. But obviously, you don't have to just use them for birthdays. And you, they just pop together, and you can put trees, uh, little treats or treasures in them for small gift giving. I like having different varieties of sizes for packaging. If I was going to do my whole team, I would go and buy a couple packs, and it's still, you know, inexpensive. 
I did buy one more package of this because I think I sent the other one home with my niece. But I bought a pair of black suede booties. They're like, I don't think they're real suede, but they're suede. And what I really wanted was this shoe brush because the suede got gets dirty in the winter. And I wanted this brush, which is really nice. Also, don't you can use this on your laundry. Get stains out, although this is a little rougher than the face one that I use. But there is all kinds of wash and towels and stuff in here. So I grabbed one more of these kits because for $1.25, you're not gonna you're not gonna beat that. I picked up one more of these. Um, I use these to cross stitch in my phone drink. I'm back. Okay, just a couple more things. I don't even know what I was showing you. I'm sure it was exciting. Um, so I grabbed two more things. Number one, this is gonna be for Sarah and I to play with. I hauled this before that stamp for nail polish these are the little plates so if you can see like the design in here you paint nail polish over it there's a squeegee in here you wipe off the extra and then you stamp it onto your fingernail so these go together which i thought was kind of fun so i grabbed one sarah's been into doing her fingernails and i thought she would enjoy playing with these so grab those for sarah sarah's my niece and the last thing, which I think is fantastic, this is going to work. It is a office answer wheel. This also would be fantastic if, oh, it's, this one's broken. Oh, I'm gonna have to find a new one. But it's like Wheel of Fortune. And it stops on your answer. But this one had a broken arm, a little arm broke. But you spin it. Like you sit it on your, I can't sit it on my desk because you won't see, but you sit it on a surface and you spin it and you get answers like, yes, I'll handle it. Too busy, not today. Sounds great. But you could like peel this off, pop it apart, peel this thing off and make your own answers. And do a little tiny decision wheel. Ah, I just thought that was super fun. So I picked up one of those. Um, and that is everything that I got from the Dollar Tree this week. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, today is the 21st of December. We just have a couple more days left of Jolly Miss. Uh, yes. And then we have Christmas and I'm so excited. All right, everybody. I will talk with you later.